Hey, what is going on today, guys? So today I'm going to be talking about Walmart wheels and why they don't they don't roll. So these ones have been through the snow, as you have, pro have probably seen in one of my earlier videos this week. I believe it's on a, it was on a Tuesday. Um, no wait, Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday, where I took a Tony Hawk board and basically just ran it through the snow. I, and I say Tony Hawk board, but and I kind of was like, hmm, I think I'll take these wheels and actually make a YouTube video out of them. And yeah, it's like, first thoughts is these, I think these are hollow. I mean, they have some weight to them, but I think that's mostly from the bearing. And what's odd is if you look really close, I don't know, you can almost see right into that bearing. So that first tells me that these are not built with super well quality and um yeah so we're probably gonna take the shield off here GFK LAX my mic's get coast to coast I'm out here most times no sweat what do you know so these are more like actual skate bearings actually because if you look it's actually got a built-in spacer much like this guy a a Abex 7 baseballs bearing and this is an Abex 1 so obviously the space ball one is three times the quality of this one or at least seven seven times actually but as you can see this doesn't doesn't like to roll let's see if I can Bearing apart here to see what's normal bearings you can actually take apart quite well, so don't know why I'm having. And I'll probably focus on that later, but, um, 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 yeah, as you can see, that doesn't like cool, and, uh, let's see, where did I put that space ball bearing? Yeah, this one doesn't roll all that great, either, I mean, but, as you can hear, this one makes three times the noise, and, I'm actually kind of surprised Walmart bothered to put. Oh, see. I can tell these wheels are crap because my finger. That was definitely not as snug in there as it should have been. But, yeah. I think these are pretty much hollow. Because this feels way too light to be a really good wheel. So, and I've ridden other Walmart wheels and like kind of tried to practice sliding on them and they ended up actually being really hollow. And then it ended up catching the wheel and completely burning out the wheel. So I'm trying to plug in my iPad here. There we go. One of my videos got copyright claim for music, so I'm trying to process that. But anyway, um, yeah, these feel really light compared to uh, other 52 millimeter or 50 millimeter wheels I've felt because it'll be the a normal wheel will be 100% urethane like all the way through and it won't be hollow so that's probably the main reason they don't roll is because for some reason Walmart was like oh let's make them hollow and then I think because your weight if you're anything heavier than like 110 pounds which is like an average adult I guess that would typically be over that weight limit, I guess, unless you're exceptionally small, which to me, even if you are only 110 pounds, that doesn't seem like it would roll very well anyway. And I'm looking at this wheel here, actually, if you look, almost looks like 
they're just like an invention on this wheel. So I would not recommend these boards to anybody because the wheels are most likely hollow and would wear out three times faster than what a normal wheel would. And these bearings, as you can see, you can just see right in there. You shouldn't be able to just really see right into the wheel or the bearing there. And that is another indicator of them being crap. And honestly, these feel more, the ABEX scale is more used for like machine bearings, like in saws and whatnot, I guess. So I would definitely stay away from Walmart bearings because they're already a very low grade even for what normally would I guess go for um, bearings but oh I even warped that just oh oh look at that yeah your bearing center should not be able to have that much play where did I put that yeah I'm moving it just the same and yeah so you should definitely not be able to move the bearing center yeah so yeah that's bound to fall apart even if you're skating it regularly or not yeah that's gonna fall apart there but um yeah I said so like I say Walmart bearings they're already a very low grade even for what I would consider more machining bearings the wheels are hollow, so that's probably going to leave them squishing more than what would be typical of a wheel, especially if, if it's a 99 plus, like typical uh, board wheels of this size, um, because these typically be typically tend to be smaller, harder wheels, such as 99 to 100 plus A, and the barometer scale usually is based off the higher the number, the harder. So. Like I say, don't get Walmart bearings. Oh, that one. Oh, this one's like three times worse. Yeah. So yeah, that's gonna fall apart here shortly if I were to keep skating them, which I think I'm gonna throw them out just cause there's no reason for me to continue using them, especially if I'm gonna blow them out. Like I'm 170 pounds and so that means I'm like 60 pounds over the weight limit of those bearings and uh, good bearings will basically have no weight load that or weight limit that you can put on them I mean I guess granted they're just gonna wear out faster or slower according to your weight but other than that um, that is probably the main reason not to get Walmart bearings and wheels is because they're just gonna wear out three times faster than what normal ones will and it's just gonna be way accelerated compared to like reds, bronsons, or anything else. So other than that, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and see you guys next video, and comment uh, suggestions for videos in the comments below. So until then, see you guys next video.